Let's take a look at managing SendNAS permissions in Exchange using PowerShell. So the first thing is you either need to be inside of the Exchange management shell or have an Exchange PowerShell session open. And you can see here that I have an Exchange PowerShell session open. And if you're not sure how to do that, check out the SNP on opening Exchange PowerShell sessions. So the first thing we'll take a look at is setting the SendNAS permissions for a mailbox. So I've got a mailbox here. And to figure out who currently has send as permissions, we need to look at the grant send on behalf to property. So I'm going to pipe the output from get mailbox to the select object commandlet and look at that property. And we can see here that we have one user that has send as permissions to that mailbox. So to set the send as permissions, we use the set mailbox commandlet, give it the name of the mailbox, and then use the grant send on behalf to parameter and then give it the name of the user we want to grant send as, and give it the name of the user that we want to grant send as permissions to. And once we do that, we can look at those permissions again and verify that that user was granted access. And one thing you'll notice here is there is only one user. We didn't add to it. We re completely reset who has send as permissions. So that's because the grant send on behalf to property is a multi-valued property. And so if we want to add multiple users, we have to specify them. So we can do that separating them with commas. So I've got that here with the set mailbox commandlet, giving it the name of the mailbox, and the same grant send on behalf to parameter. And I've got two users separated by commas. And finally, we'll verify that using the same get mailbox commandlet. And if we want to simply add one user to an existing list, I'll show you how to do that working with distribution groups. So I've got a distribution group here, and we're looking at the same grant send on behalf to property. And so I can look at that property using the get distribution group and piping it to the select object commandlet. And you can see here that I actually have a long list of users and actually uh, tails off the, the screen there. Uh, so to clean that up, I'm actually going to specify that property and then pipe it to the select object and look at the name of each of those users. Ah, that looks much better. Now we got a list instead of a long string. So if we want to simply add one user to this existing list, we, we still use the set distribution group commandlet, much like the set mailbox commandlet give it the name of the distribution group and use the same grant send on behalf to parameter. Uh, but we use this multi-valued syntax to add a user. So we've got the at, the curly brackets and the add equals, and then the name of the user that we want to add to it. So I'll go ahead and run that. And now if we use that same get distribution group commandlet that we came up with before, we can see that we have now added a user. And then if we want to remove a user, it's actually very similar to the add, except we replace add with remove. So we'll go ahead and remove a user from the grant send on behalf to property uh, using this command. And then finally, we will verify again that that user was removed. So that's how you manage send as permissions in Exchange using PowerShell.